Hi, I'm Rob from Pulp Zing. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. As you can see, not in my usual location. I'm actually downstairs in the cellar at my local craft beer um, shop and bar, The Triangle in Shipley. And I'm going to be reviewing a bottle of Burning Sky from East Sussex. And it's their Saison de Peche, a 6.5% ABV. Um, Saison is essentially their Saison uh, provision, um, aged on a mix of yellow and white peaches. This is why I'm here. I'm going to share this with a bunch of friends. It's the kind of beer that I'm probably not going to drink to myself, if I'm being honest. But one I, I'm sure is an absolute cracker. I mean, they've got this five on it. I presume it's their fifth birthday this year of Burning Sky. I'm just going to put that down on there as I kind of try and like work, my, make, work my way through the packaging. Yeah, I'm very small quantities of this going to the UK. I'm not going to pour a full glass of this, but I'm going to pour myself some. So I'm going to share this with at least Gav, who's the um, the owner and proprietor of this fine establishment. I mean, Benny Sky Great Brewery, but what I probably don't feature enough of, to be honest. Partially because, I mean, I've got built up in my head that I'm not a big fan of Saison, but I used to love Saison. Do you know what? These guys make some of the best beer, probably in the world, definitely in the UK. Uh, so I think they really do deserve a, a fair shake. So anyway, bear in the glass, very, very, very pale, very kind of like, it's it's hazy, but it's not kind of murky at all. Looks like kind of like, looks like um, white wine to a certain degree. The head, pure white froth, what there is of it. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Check out the aroma. Oh, that's beautiful. That really kind of takes you on a bit of a ride. Initially, I definitely get a lot of that kind of bubble gum from those kind of yeasty esters. Oh, but then loads of like peach, but it's not kind of like synthetic. It's very kind of like like fleshy peach. Oh, it's got me, it's got me kind of saliva glands going into overdrive. There's a little bit of kind of sharp kind of lemon zest, lemon juice. Bit of that kind of lemon kind of tartar, tartar citron, if you may. <laughs> yeah, it, sm it smells great. I mean, it's so kind of inviting. So let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, oh. wow, 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 wow. Mm. Initially, you get a, it's not quite salty, but it's got a certain saline quality to it. You get a, so you get that saltiness and kind of lemon juice. And it sets your kind of like taste buds dancing. It's got a real dryness. You can kind of feel it in your teeth. And then the peach starts coming through. Once again, does it get a hint of bubble gum in there? White grape, definitely white grape. It's got a hint of like dry cider about it in a certain sense. Very drinkable. Once again, that kind of bubblegum and peach comes back towards the back end. It's a funny one because it's simple, but it's complex. It's complex enough, I guess, in that sense. It doesn't go too far. It stays sensible and it delivers. A, right now, I'm getting under ripened, slightly under ripened peaches. So even peaches are a little bit crunchy bite into it and it's not quite got as soft as you'd like it to. Reminds me of eating, uh, last peach I had was probably a donut peach. These weird little squished up peaches if you've ever seen them. It's taking me back to that, definitely kind of a, a peach skin and things like that. But that's great, really kind of clean, good, I mean, perfect combination. The, the execution of this beer is absolutely staggering, I mean it is perfect. It's got a nice amount of tartness, it's sharp, not too much. It's not like instant. I'll get an acid reflux from stuff what's a little bit too kind of acidic. But it doesn't go that far. And that peach just really softens it out. Yeah, that's that's cracking. Really easy going as well. And it kind of makes me feel a bit silly for not kind of drinking more of these beers, especially when it's pretty so well priced. Well, that's like 16 quid. And this is a, like one of their kind of 
big releases of the year. It's the 7, 750. I don't know how to do it, but I really respect these guys, and I'm sure everybody else does. And that is Burning Skies, Saison de Pêche, 6.5% ABV. Saison with white and yellow peaches. Stunning stuff. I'm Rob from Hopseed. I'll see you next time. Cheers.